Today is Tuesday, 9th of August, 2022, with Pastor Chris teaching. Our topic for today is praying in line with his desire. Our theme scripture is taken from 1 John 5, verse 14 of the Amplified Classic. And it says, And this is the confidence, the assurance, the privilege of boldness which we have in him. We are sure that if we ask anything, make any requests according to his will, in agreement with his own plan, he listens to and hears us. Hallelujah. Sometimes people pray, Father, let your will be done, without realizing the impact of this statement. It isn't one to be made casually, Pastor says. You don't just say, Thy will be done. You have to know what that will is. When Jesus prayed and said the same words, he knew exactly what the Father's will was and he mentioned it. Pastor says, there's a difference between a will and a desire. The fact that something is God's will at a particular point in time doesn't mean it may be his desire. I'll give you an example from the Bible. In Isaiah 38, the Bible tells a story about King Hezekiah who was sick. The prophet Isaiah was sent to him by God to tell him to set his house in order because he was going to die. At that moment, God stated his clear will for King Hezekiah's life. After receiving this message from the prophet, Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed to God weeping. Or the Bible says, Then came the word of the Lord to Isaiah, saying, Go and say to Hezekiah, Thus said the Lord, the God of David thy father, I have heard thy prayer, I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will add unto thy days fifteen years. That we can find in Isaiah 38, 4-5. Oh, praise God. When Hezekiah was told he was going to die, if he had replied, Thy will be done, O Lord, he would have died. True? But he knew that wasn't God's desire for him. He knew God created him for his praise. So in his prayer, he said to the Lord, The dead cannot celebrate you. Only the living can praise you as I do this day. That we can find in Isaiah 38, 18 to 19. Hallelujah. So, Pastor says, when you are praying about the will of God on a matter, find out how consistent that thing is with his character. Only then will you know how best to pray about it. For instance, in the Old Testament, God led the children of Israel in several battles and fought wars on their behalf. Yet the Bible tells us he's a God of peace. He's more known as the God of peace than any other name in the Bible. Oh, this shows us his desire. What he really wants is peace, not war. This kind of understanding, Pastor says in conclusion, will help you pray always in line with his desires as revealed in his word. Praise God. Thank you, Father, for your word to us today and for Pastor Chris. All right, let's take a prayer now, meaning every word from the bottom of our hearts. Please say it with me, Dear Father, I'm inspired by the truth of your word, your love and your eternal kindness, which communicates your desire for us to prosper and be in health, even as our souls prosper. Even now, I am strengthened in my confidence to pray, knowing that it's your delight to hear and answer my prayers. My joy is full today, confident of your love and power at work in me. In Jesus' name, amen. All right for further study, please read First Peter 3 verse 12. Romans 8, 26-27, and Luke 22, 41-44. Glory to God. So, knowing or understanding the will, the desire of our God when we pray is vital 